Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th, okay? But keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Hermit. Hermit. So that's about introspection, thinking, uh, reevaluating something. Uh, somebody may be setting some new goals. So this is right around the 11th. So it's a time of introspection. It's a time of, you know, going within some sort of awakening here. This is like a Jesus consciousness. It's like becoming aware, you know, thinking about something taking time to think about it. Two of Swords reversed. So the Two of Swords reversed. There's, there's been some sort of blockage. We, this person, we have somebody here that is lonely. Okay, they're lonely. They, um, I don't know, they've chosen to be alone or they're feeling alone. Very, very alone. Anyway, Two of Swords reversed. This person has been torn in two different directions. They've been torn. They've been stuck. They've been blocking their emotions. They haven't been communicating. They've been given an opportunity to communicate, but they're not communicating. They're not communicating right now because they're thinking. They're thinking. They're they're um, making a big decision. Obviously, with the hermit, that's going within to, you know, think. So this person is. It has, probably hasn't been communicating. They've been taking time to uh, figure out what they want to do next. So they haven't been communicating. They've been they've been blocking their emotions. They've been uh, torn in two different directions. But with the Two of Swords reversed, that is coming out. It's like uh, I don't know if we have somebody here that's going to be opening up. Um, making a choice, making a choice between two options, obviously. There's obviously two options here. This why, That's why there's probably a lack of communication. We have somebody here that may seem like they're withdrawn. You know, they're withdrawn. Uh, they're not really communicating, right? Because they're thinking, okay? They're really thinking right now about their options and they have at least two. Justice reversed, right next to that Two of Swords reversed. So there's some sort of imbalance here. We have somebody here that's not being honest with themselves or... Um, now we have the Two of Wands and reversed on the bottom. That is definitely stuck at a crossroads. Choice, decision, somebody that is very indecisive. They are very, very indecisive. They're not sure what the right thing to do is. <clears throat> they definitely have another opportunity here. They, they can move forward into the future or they can stay right where they're at. So we have somebody here that is really thinking about what they want. And they're, they're stuck right now. There's indecisiveness. There's... Uh, Oh, I feel like there's some sort of uh, mental imbalance with it too. And, that, and we all have that once in a while when we get overwhelmed, when we have to make a difficult decision. This appears to be a difficult decision. <clears throat> Justice reversed is lack of integrity. But it's like not accepting the truth. Blocking emotion. Somebody is torn. What is this justice reversed? Dishonesty. We got somebody here that's being dishonest. I feel like it's with themselves. Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords is a separation. It is a loss. It is grieving. 
We got somebody here that is, is heartbroken. You know, the Justice card in reverse can be an argument with no resolution in sight. And we have the Five of Swords on the bottom. This is a hostile situation where obviously somebody has been betrayed. <clears throat> They've been betrayed. They've been hurt very, very badly. So they're blocking their emotions. They're in some state of denial because the Two of Swords is like denial, but seeing the truth, knowing the truth, we both, you know, there's some sort of crime here as well. It's like, it's a crime. Um, I feel like there's some sort of heartbreaking separation here. It isn't fair. There's some lack of fairness. This isn't fair. It's unjust. We have somebody that is thinking about how they were treated or something like that and they're heartbroken in some way. There could be a lack of trust here. So we definitely have somebody here that is thinking about something. Five of Swords reversed. Five of Swords reversed. This is um, walking away from some sort of conflict. If there has been a crime, it's going to be exposed. We have exposure here. Lies are going to be exposed. We've been talking about this. It's heartbreaking. It is definitely heartbreaking. We have somebody that has definitely been betrayed. It's not fair. It's not right. Something isn't fair. I feel like there's going to be some sort of exposure. The light. I mean, the hermit is holding a light. So there's going to be some light shed on a situation. But anyway... We have somebody here that is thinking about... There could be a confession here. Somebody may be confessing something. I think we talked about this yesterday. Page of Swords reversed on the bottom. So that is definitely a conflict. Right? I mean, the Page of Swords reversed is a conflict. It is a fight. It is somebody that is very argumentative. I don't know if there's going to be an argument or not. We have difficulty in communication. We have an unexpected conflict here. We have somebody here that is definitely having a hard time communicating. They're having a hard time communicating the truth. And they're suffering in some way. And maybe this person has grown, gotten some sort of awakening. Now they see the truth about a situation. Maybe, you know, because the Five of Swords reverse is somebody that hurts somebody really, really, really bad. And it's in reverse. Maybe this per I don't know if somebody's going to be apologizing or, or maybe. Maybe there's a need to apologize. <clears throat> There could be an apology coming for somebody. We definitely have an individual that, that has, uh, I don't know, if they've overstepped their boundaries or something. They've, they've done something that, you know, now they have a new perspective, right, with that hermit card. Now they see differently. They see it differently, which is interesting. is withdrawal, withdrawing, thinking about it, torn, torn in two different directions with the two of swords reversed. There's, this is coming out of denial, seeing something, somebody, something is being seen, something that was unjust. Somebody has been not telling the truth. They hurt another person, they don't care. They don't care if they hurt them, cause some sort of pain. A lot of pain by the looks of things. There's heartache here.
somebody's going to receive a message that they don't want to hear in the very near future. Whatever this message is, it's heartbreaking because of that Three of Swords. And I'm sorry to say that, but that is heartbreak. This isn't fair. You know, it's not fair. Uh, with the justice reversed right in front of it, this is something not turning out, not something not turning out in your favor, right? It's, um, there's a hostile situation here. It's a lose-lose situation. Nobody wins. We have an individual that was not seeing something clearly. They had some sort of blindfold on. They were choosing not to see. But I think they've become awakened, you know, or enlightened. And now they see things differently. And they probably, you know, uh, are suffering over whatever has happened. You know, they're suffering. There's, and they cause suffering. Eight of Swords, so mental turmoil. We have a lot of swords here. Five of Pentacles on the bottom. That's abandonment. That's ghosting. That's neglect. Leaving somebody out in the cold. Somebody has been, uh, obviously, they've been very deceptive. They've been deceptive. They, they, were, they were very cocky. They were very cunning. They had a big head. I feel like we had somebody here that had a big head. And now they're uh, struggling. We definitely have somebody here that is struggling. I also need to really reiterate, there is probably going to be a crime that is going to be exposed. And I feel like somebody is going to end up in jail. It's pretty darn clear. Two of Swords reversed, Justice reversed, Five of Swords reversed, and the Eight of Swords. I feel like we have somebody here that is, there's karma, Justice is karma. It's consequences for hurting another person. Anyhow, Eight of Swords is, is held back. We have somebody here that is definitely held back by fear. This is the other story. This person is held back by fear. They are staying and they're keeping themselves safe. They got boundaries. They put up, they got boundaries up because they have been so hurt in the past. Somebody has some really big boundaries and they need to open up. It's time to open up. It is... It's it, it is. It's time to open up. There's a lot of grieving here. There's a lot of heartache and suffering. And there's a need to just be happy, okay? It's time to be happy now. There's no reason to keep uh, blocking your heart or blocking your emotions because of... You know, dishonest with your... We got some... The judge, justice reversed. Somebody that's being dishonest. Maybe even dishonest with themselves, okay? We got people that don't want to accept the truth about that something is over or whatever the case is. Hermit. If somebody does end up in jail, they're going to have plenty of time to think about what they did. Just saying. Anyhow, uh, Three of Swords is heartbreaking. It is suffering. It is a separation. We have a separation here. It hurts. This hurts. It hurts. This is like stabbed right in the heart, right? Ten of Swords reversed because we got mostly all swords in the Justice reversed. This is this is definitely painful, extremely painful. There's something. There's this is, this is like the straw that breaks the camel's back. There's there's liberation here. There's freedom from some sort of suffering. We have somebody here that needs to stand up and walk away. 
somebody needs to accept the truth about a situation, they do. It's time to reconnect, it's time to socialize, it's time to get out there, to come out of hiding, step outside of your comfort zone. Just because so you were stabbed or whatever the case is in the heart, you know, doesn't mean that you need to stay there, that you need to stay down, okay? There is an opportunity for uh, healing, obviously, because the hermit is healing. It's a very healing energy. We have strength on the bottom, which is a card of courage, bravery, determination, and willpower. This is a, a card of you know, replacing that fear with faith. Somebody needs to let go of the fear and step outside of their comfort zone. There's a need to step outside of a comfort zone here. Don't let the betrayal hold you back. I do believe we have somebody here that is going to find some courage. They are going to find some strength. To break free because the Ten of Swords is freedom. It is liberation from a very, obviously, it's extremely painful situation. Replace that fear with faith and just go wherever it is that you need to go. Stop staying in that hostile situation. Stop staying where you're, you know, belittled and stepped on and you know abused we have we have some sort of abuse here with the five of swords there's no reason to stay there i feel like there is going to be some sort of argument with no resolution in sight and we have an individual that may that may be the straw that breaks the camel's back Nine of Wands reversed. I was going to clarify the Hermit. Nine of Wands reversed is uh, a... We have somebody here that is experiencing some serious challenges right now. They're giving up. They need to give up. They need to stop waiting. They, they need to stop partaking in the fight, you know? It's like one right after another. Things have been happening one right after another. It's like been constant, constant hit, 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 you know, you know, boom, 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 boom. It's been constant one right after another. You know, there's, it's been a constant battle is what I'm trying to say. It's time to give up and, and maybe go your own. Somebody may, because a hermit is about going down a new path, right? It is. There's no need to keep fighting, you know. I feel like we have somebody that has been waiting. They've been waiting, you know. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for things to change. I'm going to wait for this person to open up. I'm going to wait for this person to come back. The answer is no. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to keep getting beat up. I'm going to keep getting stepped on. I'm going to keep letting this person hurt me. I'm just going to keep letting it happen. I feel like we have an awakening here. I do. I feel like we have somebody that has reached a point where they can't do it anymore. Two of Wands. That is, there's two options, which we know there is. You can stay right where you're at, where it's prison. That's where I put it. Okay, that's prison. That is. You can stay. Look what's behind the two of wands is the eight of swords. That is a mental prison or it's prison. It is it's uh, bound to something that is unhealthy. You need to escape from. You can stay in this situation where you're confined, where you're contained, where you're where you're uh, restricted. 
and you know get beat up or whatever this is or you can choose to you know step into the future so that's about at that crossroads needing making a choice we definitely have an individual that has been indecisive they've been in a state of mental turmoil they've been trapped in a situation that they're not really trapped in but they have a victim mentality um i saw that with the five of pentacles a while back they you know i gotta stay no you don't yeah, this is a choice. It's your choice. It's your choice. It's your choice. Sitting there and crying, you know, it's not fair. It's not fair. That's not going to help. It's not going to help. It's time to step into the future. So I do believe we have somebody here that is uh, thinking about the betrayal. They're thinking about uh, stepping into something new. They are in a very uncomfortable situation that has been extremely challenging. Um, and they've been waiting for things to change and they've been getting, uh, it's almost like hit, you know, uh, and it doesn't have to be physically hit, but it's like one thing right after another, one thing right after another, one thing right after another, you know, this, somebody is dealing with a person that, um, doesn't care who they hurt as long as they get the attention. This is somebody that is uh, lacks integrity that doesn't tell the truth that um, has blocked them from a better life this person has blocked them from a better life anyhow the last card out is a two of wands that is at that that point where you have to make a decision somebody is gonna is in a position where they need to make a decision to stay or go they stay they stay in this conflict they stay in this this prison that they're living in or they step into a new life so i do believe that there is a big decision that is being made we have an individual that is uh, going within to you know figure out what it is that they want to do and i do believe that they are going to give up with the nine of wands reverse it's like this is seeing something differently it's a light bulb moment you know i can't keep doing this anymore one more card nine of wands reversed oh there it is temperance time for a change temperance is comes after death Okay, so it's about accepting and allowing and going after something better. Okay, this is a card of purpose. It's a card of patience. It's, it's time as well. Whenever I see this card, I think of divine timing. So I feel like we it's time. It's time for a change. It's time for something better. It's time to uh, cooperate. It's time to blend, to create harmony and to... Uh, receive this is definitely a time of healing as well i think that we have an individual that has healed quite a bit but they've also been it feels like reminiscing and i don't even need the six of cups i feel like they've been well i got the judgment on the bottom which is about the past that is about the past this is a judgment call making a life-changing decision this is the end of things so I do believe that we have somebody here that is making a life-changing decision. They are making a judgment call. They are accepting something. This is the temperance and the judgment card are both about acceptance. Uh, we may have somebody here that is coming off of their high horse. They have thought about something. They could be they could be coming back with, you know, um, an apology asking for forgiveness and, I, and and that's not going to be for everybody okay um but judgment is a wake-up call okay it's an epiphany and i saw that earlier too i feel like we're getting we have somebody here that is getting some sort of epiphany you know they're getting some sort of epiphany that it's time for a change that it's time for something better that they can't keep you know living in this situation where you know it feels like prison it feels like prison to me or somebody could end up in prison he's like, what this is but this is like somebody that is um has been controlled they have been controlled by a, a, a false contract you know and that's a mindset all these swords represent mind 
okay you can you can change your mind at any time you don't have to focus on somebody or something that is not that is breaking your heart okay if it's breaking your heart if it's hurting you really bad then you have to walk away from it that's going to take courage and strength and confidence and willpower but anyhow i do believe that there's a change that is coming I feel like this is accepting and allowing and going after something better. We have an individual that is waking up. This is definitely a, an awakening of some sort. Um, ready to be judged. They're coming clean, coming, coming clean. Somebody's about to come clean. Um, like I said, this is also uh, karma. So we do have some karma here. We have... Uh, this can also be a past life situation. Somebody may be uh, mingling or coming together with somebody that they were with in a past life. And that just came to me. Um, temperance is a card of purpose. It is a card of reason. It is time for something better. It's time to accept and allow that something has ended for a reason. I think that's what we got. A life-changing decision is about to be made with that judgment card. That is the end of things. You are about to see a major change. You are about to see a major completion because the next card is the world card. We have somebody here that is leaving the past behind. They are making a judgment call to do so and they are about to step into a new life. Good luck.